If you're like me and save your bowl blank cutoffs eventually and quite literally, you'll have overflowing buckets. I decided it was time to weed down my stock by making some gifts for the holidays, particularly votives. The designs are pretty much limitless, and it's fun choosing the wood combinations. You can laminate stripes, play with grain directions, opposing, matching, or experiment with uh, seams and joints, and the methods for clamping odd shapes. <laughs> Most of the glue-ups took 24 hours to cure, but a few of the designs were multi-day glue-ups. I also tried out my circle cutting jig on these blanks and it worked fantastic. If you're interested in checking out that video, I put a link in the description. I switched over to a shear scraping tool and I'm going to clean up most of the tool marks though it wasn't really that bad to begin with and I'm going to add some detail work on the base. The sides are end grain, so I'm using some power sanding. And for the finish of choice, I went with a friction polish homemade brew. About three coats of the friction polish with some buffing in between. I did end up making another votive holder today, and this one is made from Baduk and East Indian rosewood, and the one that I showed you earlier was hard maple and walnut. I used the same process I just showed you for the maple votive holder as I did here with the East Indian rosewood. 
with the only difference being the finish. I ended up using the same friction polish, but I had to add six coats of friction polish because the wood really absorbed it. And I used some wire burning for some detail. This is a great project to use up some of the scraps in your shop. Uh, could be spindle work, uh, you know, end pieces. You might accumulate a lot of that. And you could do different kinds. I use some of these candles that are about two and a half inches. And since it had this curvy top, I made it so some of this candle sticks out. And I don't recommend using real candles in the wood holders. <laughs> it's a fire hazard. But these are all LED votives. Uh, and they last a long time. And it looks really great with those. You can also use these little LED tea lights to put in there. And these are nice for, uh, instead of big blanks that you piece together like this for, you know, these larger candle sizes, uh, as to posed, something like this. I started turning this one already. It's a uh, Paduke and uh, red eucalyptus, I believe. Um, but these are good for smaller pieces of scraps you have laying around. And what's also nice about this project is you can do the wall thicknesses of the wall to whatever you want, especially if you wanted it really thin to glow with these types of candles inside. I like it, buddy. You do some fine work. These will be great gifts to give away to people, especially if you're like me, I don't like to waste uh, the wood pieces, especially if I can use them like this. And they're really nice wood, like some, you know, uh, there's blood wood, East Indian rosewood, Wenge, uh, Ganga Erves. I have all types of exotic and expensive, quite expensive woods even though they're smaller pieces, I don't want to throw them away. Well, as always, I hope you stayed to the very end. Enjoyed the show. Subscribe if you haven't. Click that bell. Click that like. Stay safe in your shop at all times. Thank you and take care. Get, get out of here. Don't forget, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa.